Hello everybody and welcome back to The Operator. If you've missed the first couple of videos, I recommend you go to the playlist and check them out so you're up to speed with where we're up to because this is a story-driven game. So if you've missed the first couple, you won't have a clue. Um, basically, we work for the Federal Department of Intelligence and there is a interesting case that's sort of triggering up in the background. We're kind of working on it on the down low whilst we're trying to solve our other cases, but everything seems to be interlinked. So that is what we're doing. We're on day three now. So let's log in and get started. Okay, at the end of the last video, we heard Xavier, I think, talking to Mike about us sniffing around too much. So let's see what Mike has to say this morning. Good morning, Evan. He sounds a bit flat, doesn't he? Hi, Mike. How are you? Look, about yesterday, this, uh, this business with the coal files. Sorry if I came down on you a little hard, buddy. It's just that I know you have what it takes to rise in this place, Evan. Become a supervisor. Hell, maybe even replace me one day. But I can't protect you if you start poking around in the wrong places. Okay? I absolutely understand, Mike. Feeling a little stressed, I think. Hmm. Feeling a little stressed? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I guess I am. It's this job. It can be a real killer. Well, I'd, I'd better get back to it. You have a good one. All right? Again, I, I can't tell you how happy I am to have you here at the Operator Program, Evan. That way, I can keep a close eye on you, can I? <laughs> Let's grab a beer later this week, all right? Once everything calms down in the madhouse. Uh, beer sounds really good. Have a good one. Maybe you can bring your wife this time. Why would we say that? That's weird. Uh, beer sounds good, Mike. Okay, so he didn't really chew us out as much as I thought he would. Barry got to say. So he was exhuming bodies the last time we heard from him. Operator Tanner, that you? It's still me. Why are you always unsure? Tanner, did you give that address out to anybody? My address. The address <laughs> for the Bio-M facility. The one you found on Spencer's floppy. Of course not. I'm well, just messing with you. somebody beat me to the facility, Tanner. Uh, wait, what happened? The Bio-M facility burned down last night, Tanner. Up. In flames. Of course it did. And if you didn't give the address out, someone else did. Looks like we got ourselves a, a mole. Goddamn operator program. Are you the mole? What do we do now? Well, an investigative team came before me and logged the remaining evidence back at the department. But I can't access it directly. Uh, I'll have to go through the operator program. Heaven on earth, Tanner. Heaven on earth. From what I can tell, there should be some security footage there that should shed some light on what happened here. Hopefully, it won't be too hard to prove this was arson. Okay, so, the only people we did tell about that address was him. I didn't tell Hal anything about that address. He never gave us the option. So, it's just me and him and whoever's sort of washing my computer. Which could be how, I suppose. Find out what's the going on here then. Hmm. So we had a code. In there a long time. Can 
we skip this forward? He's in here ages. Two minutes in here? Wow. Okay, hang on. Now the alarm's going off. So it takes him four minutes to go and burn the place down. Does anyone come out? Yes, he does. He looks like Agent 47 from uh, the Hitman games. So prove it was arson. Okay. No match. We also had a no match with somebody bold before, didn't we? What was that? Is that the parking thing? The suspect. Okay, right, here we go. Is this the same guy? Because we have no match for him either. Interesting. Is there anything else I can click on here, or is that the, the only thing? On a camera. Literally, there's nothing. It's just the guy. Okay. So. The wrong one. It was this one I wanted. Is it this one? No. I think it's the same guy. Prove it was. Oh, wait. Is he carrying something? Probably carrying like a, a jerry can. There you go. A man entered with gasoline. Yeah, that's not a box of wine, is it? Can you get an ID on this guy? Sadly not. That uh, would have been too easy, huh? I'd like to get in the facility. Yeah, take a look around. Good Lord willing, the roof won't collapse on me. But I need a code for the door. You see where I'm going with this, Tanner? I think I do, but I'm not, I wasn't allowed to click it. I need the magic word, Agent. How the first responders get in? Yeah, that's fishy, isn't it? So fishy, it goddamn stinks. Unfortunately, I don't have access to the team members. But from what I can tell, the order came from higher up. I'll find the code for you, Agent. How did they get in there? Did somebody let them in? Find the code. Let me click it now. I will. Okay, so you have to click it at a specific time. Uh, I think that's... Zero, one, four, four. I'm gonna guess that's an eight, five. So, um, Let me see if this works. And? All right, I'm in. All right, nice. <laughs> Damn it! A smoke in here will ruin this suit too. That's two suits in two days. Tanner. Now, uh, let me see if I can find something useful. Something that the investigative team left behind. Sure as hell won't be easy. Why'd you say that? Because this place is just about burnt to a crisp. I don't know what went on here. But if you ask me, it's a pretty elaborate security system for a medical facility. Something else I can do? While I look around, maybe you could dig more into our little arsonist friend. Uh, what exactly am I looking for? Anything that you can find, Tanner. I look picky to you. An ID. A link to another case. His favorite flavor of ice cream. Just give me something, alright? Alright. Find more info on the arsonist. I think we were along the right lines, but I think we jumped ahead of the game. Um... Is it the guy? Does he look the same? The only reason I came here is because he's the only other no-match guy we've had so far. 
They're both bold. Oh yes, we're in. We're right. He's also the suspect in a shooting, and his favorite ice cream is vanilla. Charming fellow. Who's the lead on the other investigation? Uh, oh, yeah. It was Pendle, I think. Ouch. Tough draw for the rook. Hold on. Looks like I found something. What the? Honey. Honey you Moore. See what I'm seeing, Tanner? I do. Looks like our gal, Connie Moore, was a bio impatient. How is that possible? Was she hiding this from us? Beats me. Past her polygraph. I don't think she was covers. hiding it. She told us the truth. She her escaped, truth, I think. Anyway. Or somebody let her go. So what do we do now? Need me for something else? Any records on Connie? Nope. Looks like either the first responders took that info with them or it burned in the fire. What do we do now? Contact Skinner to update Pendle on her parking garage killer. I'm sure she'll be thrilled. I'll keep looking around here. <coughs> the world's biggest ashtray. Tell me if you find out anything new about our pyro head, Tanner. And I'll contact you if I come across something on my charred end over here. Sure thing, Agent. So Agent 47 has been doing all of this. Oh, wait. Take it easy. What do you want? Just when I was starting to miss you. Oh, take it easy. Don't contact Pendle. Why? Agent Walker, though really grumpy, is right. There is a mole in the operator program. A hairy, stinking little mole. Evan. Are we the mole? Evan? <laughs> Uh, who do you think it is? You're the mole, Hal. I mean, it could be Skinner. We did hear him in that um, cinematic piece. I overheard him talking about me. There you go. Who's the ghost? Well, I'm calling the guy who doesn't appear in your databases. Good name, don't you think? So he's like, he is a hitman basically, isn't he? Can I know the plan, Hal? Since you and I are now basically best buds, why not? So Walker told you that a team came and logged evidence from the facility. It's now at the FDI, but some of it's been concealed. I can see that from here. Just like the name on Jenkins's list. The evidence room is behind a closed network that unfortunately I can't hack into. So what's the solution? If we can sneak into the evidence room and access its computer, we can make the hidden evidence visible again. And if we share that information, it will catch the attention of our mole and trigger him or her to contact the ghost. That's phase one. That's pretty good, actually. Phase two. Phase two is setting the trap for the ghost with agents Pendle and Walker. But I'll talk more about that later. How do we know that Pendle is a... Not a mole. By we, you actually mean... Probably. I can't get into the evidence room. Are you confident that this will work? How will this trigger the mole? How do you get into the evidence room, though? Yeah, how do you get to the evidence room? Not yet, you can't. But just give me a second. Is he changing our credentials? Okay, I've hacked the accreditation server. Accreditation server. Uh, 
giving you access. Oh, nice. So I can't just use my badge. You just use your badge. Nice. So I can just do my badge now when we've got in. Can't you just give us access to some of the files then? The things I do for you. Log out. Hmm, looks like we're going on a day trip. either nervous or we went out in the cold but I'm going to guess we're nervous <clears throat> I do keep listening through these cinematics because we can't see anything, I'm thinking that the noises might mean something. But so far, I'm not really sure if they do. It's just kind of filler. Hey, we're in. Funny, our eyesight only works with computers. FBI evidence, authorized personnel only. Current user. Uh, so A to authenticate. Eventana. Password. Succeeded. Nice. Uh, escape. Okay, what now? Um, help. Al, is it you? Yes, it's me. How am I reading you? Oh, he's asking us that, yeah. Uh, yes, it's me. Uh, wait, you weren't sure that it would. 50% sure. Don't hate me, Evan. 50% I guess. I would have liked more percentage than that. If you can access this computer, can't you make the evidence visible? Good question. I can't access everything. The help menu, as boring as it is, was the only thing that loaded from the global FBI network. You'll have access to the files and look for the hidden evidence on your end. You have to work a little, Evan. Sorry. I don't see the files anywhere. I'm getting an error message. We are getting an error message. Let's guess about that. I forgot to do something on my end. Just a second. Ah, that's better. Okay, just updated your credentials. You should be able to see the files now. Look in the hidden column. And see if you can find any evidence from the facility case that you can make visible again. Then come back to me when you've done that. Okay. So the facility case. So we've got Walker, Andrews. So we've spoken to Andrews. We don't. That's so. Uh, these cases must be the ones we're working on then, I guess. So it's not Andrews. So Walker. That's the initial Connie Moore one. That's probably the uh, in the desert, and that's probably this one, I would guess. Enter. Aha. Entrance. Suspect Jerry can co. This is all the stuff we just worked on. Uh, tab. It's a hidden one here. How do you. Oh, here we go. Uh, hidden. Are you sure? Key hidden. Previous value. Next value false. Confirm. Is that it? I think that's... Okay, so yeah, it's not it's not hidden anymore. Can we check some of the other ones while we're here? Hmm. 
Everything else apparently is not hidden. Can we find some of that other stuff? Oops. Uh, H for help. He says come back, didn't he? The evidence is visible again. A list on Henry Jenkins. Don't you think it's time we finally uncover the name that's been redacted? That's what I was trying to do just then, but there was nothing there. I mean, it's driving me crazy. Find the appropriate case file and see if you can revert it to the uncensored version and then come back to me. That was our first case, wasn't it? Oh, do you have to open the list, maybe? Name list. Wait, sensor. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Sensor sensitive info. This version is already the current version. What do we have to do here, then? Evidence registration. Burn. I'm not sure I did anything there. Nope. I love that sound. It's just like you've won the evidence room or something. I've no idea what we just did. We just created a new version, but surely it's still hidden. All right, log out and head back to your desk, but act natural. Okay. That was fun snooping around in here. It's a shame we can't change anything else. I don't think we can anyway. Right, let's log out before somebody comes. why we logged out we should have stayed logged in and just pretended we'd gone off for a coffee or something hdd so that's new what took you so long you said act natural not that natural evan so the evidence from the facility uh you just made visible let's see what we have there shall we I assume it's this thing, because this is new on our screen. The drive looks a little damaged. Probably from the fire. I wouldn't be surprised if they tampered with it too. Looks like it's going to take some time to recover the files. In the meantime, check out Jenkins's list. Uh, that was in the bar here, wasn't it? So, aha! Sasha Cole. Ah, Sasha Cole. That was Mia. Uh, we searched for him, didn't we, in the previous episode? That was Mia's husband. He went missing. According to that other FBI agent he put us in contact with. Sasha Cole. And the mystery deepens. Yep, that's the one. Mia's husband. His name is. Sir oh, yeah. He's circled, so he's still alive. Anyway, the hard drive has been recovered. Some of it's files, that's fortunate. Look for a file. There's a file for Sasha Cole and Connie Moore, both password protected. Let's focus on Connie's folder first. See if you can find a way in. 
sorry, Evan. You're going to have to work a little more. Okay. Wow. So he's still alive. But now Mia's been killed. Uh, okay, so what do we have here then? Please stop and then lock files. We need a password for Connie Moore. Okay. Uh, security risk, sir. We have noticed that you used your ID badge as your password. This is to Henry Jenkins. We recognize the convenience of this. Should probably write that down. That sounds that sounds like that might come up at some point. Uh, we recognize the convenience of this, but in the interest of preventing security breaches, we strongly encourage you to adopt another. Even though your password has more than four characters, it is still not secure enough. At your earliest convenience, please choose a new password. Thank you for your attention to this matter. Sincerely, Samish Henderson, Head of IT. That doesn't really tell us much other than potentially Henry's password is his badge. ID. Okay. These are still recovering. Connie Moore's password. Wait, what was Connie's... Oh, I was hoping it'd be on there. Is there anything we can do with this? So it's the only information we've got from this is we've noticed your badge ID as your password. We recognize the convenience of this. So maybe they're all doing that. But she was a subject there, not a... Henry Jenkins. I think that could be it. It's not her password, is it? It's their password for the thing. He uses this as his password, I think. I think it's so the whole thing probably four zero three six six three six two zero zero five one zero. Ah, oh, he didn't change his password. What? Well, it was Jenkins's badge number. Older people and their passwords. Anyway, nice work. Now let's finish setting the trap. I'm guessing there's something in Connie's file we can use to trigger the mole and lure the ghost out from whatever hole he's hiding in. A piece of information, an address maybe? Something. Okay, find an address for the trap. Let's do that. I'm glad that was his password. I was really stumped then. I, the only thing I made me go for that really was the fact that that's the only thing in there that we could access. Notes. Don't see any. Oh, there's an address here. Overview. Top secret. Project Eve. Connie Moore. Responsible Harry Jenkins, or Henry Jenkins. Connie was spotted by the disposal team near the site. Okay, yep. It's got to be that address then, isn't it? That's the only address I can see. up things Jenkins was doing. I'm sure they want to keep this lab a secret. Now what hell? It's time for phase two. We have two agents looking for the ghost, Walker and Pendle. Time we put them to use. Let me check something. Okay, Agent Pendle is closer to the lab. Contact her and send her the address. Whoever's monitoring communications between the agents and the operators will see it. Am I putting Agent Pendle in? Yeah, I think we possibly are. Don't, shouldn't we tell her what's going on first? Shouldn't we send in the whole team? What about contacting Walker? I have to confront Skinner if he's the mole. Uh, that's Pendle in harm's way. She's a big girl, Evan. She won't be alone. 
go ahead and contact Skinner. So you can contact Pendle. I'll get back to you later. Okay. Yes, Operator Tanner? Uh, I have some information for Engine Pendle, sir. What kind of information? An address linked to the murder of Wells. All right. I'm forwarding the call, Tanner. But I hope you're not just sending Pendle on some wild goose chase. He is so onto us. He really is. He's got to be the mole. Operator Tanner, what can I do for you? I have footage of Wells' killer committing arson via a case Walker is working. What? You're kidding. Okay, so our murderer likes to play with fire too, huh? This guy just gets better and better. By any chance, did any clues pop up where we might locate him? Actually, yes, I got an address linked to Jenkins. To Jenkins? So, it comes full circle, does it? Well, whatever that address is, I'll take it. Oh, there you go. Nice. So, what exactly is this place? If Wells Keller's there, I assume it's not a petting zoo. I think it's Jenkins' laboratory, a lab where Wells Killer has been spotted. Uh, go for that one. I see. Well, I'm on my way. I'll contact you when I get there. Thanks, Tanner. Maybe now we can finally book this guy. I'll be waiting for your call, Agent. You know what I'd really like? I mean, I'm really enjoying the story aspect of this. I'd quite like just random cases where we help people. I think a game like that would be really good. Uh, what do you see, Agent? The door was unlocked, actually. That's weird. It's real weird in here, Tanner. Like everybody suddenly took off. But left all their beeping lab equipment behind. But I don't see any sign of Wells Killer. Looks like a dead <gasps> Shit! Drop the phone. Uh-oh. Slide your gun over to me. Oh no. Slowly. On your knees, Agent Pendle. You! How do you know my name? You might want to close your eyes. It sounds like Skinner. You don't want to do this. I'm a federal agent. Take the water, grab the eye, grab the gun. Drop the gun. Move away from her. Now. It's locked. What is it now? Hands up. Turn around. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Talk to me, Agent. There's a bomb! This ball-headed psycho has trapped me in a room with a bomb! It's my third day! The display says 20 minutes and 21 seconds, and it's ticking down! You've um, gotta help me here. What? Uh, just hold on, Agent. Come right back. Understand me, Tanner? You come right back. Uh, yeah. I've got 20 minutes, so it's not Skinner, then. Yes, Operator Tanner. As uh, supervisor Skinner, we need to defuse a bomb. Stay calm, Tanner. Pendle's locked in a room with the bomb. Okay, let me think. Unfortunately, our more seasoned operators are presently occupied. I'd send a team, but they'd arrive much too late. That means you'll have to defuse the bomb, Operator. Oh, that sounds like a fine idea on my third day. You're kidding me, right? Keep it together, Operator. I'm sharing the FDI's bomb defusal manual. You haven't gone through bomb training yet, but we have no choice. What I'm about to tell you is important. Do not read the entire manual. You don't have time. Stay calm and follow the instructions from the beginning. Do you understand? Uh, I understand, sir. Bomb defusal guide. So we've got 19 minutes to try and defuse a bomb, having never done it before. Uh, what does the bomb look like? There are wires, a controller, a battery, a keypad, and, uh, a display, I guess. And operator, make sure you follow the instructions at the beginning. I really don't want to go out like this. Identify the bomb archetype. 
Uh, follow the guide. We don't have time to read all this. Single mass devices. Multi devices. Mass power. Autonomous ticking devices. A key, a keypad. We've got a keypad. She said something about a keypad. I think we need to just find out what bomb it is first. About the bomb. Um, describe the bomb again. There are some wires, why a controller, that. See there. a battery, a keypad, and a display. The display. There's none of those. About the bomb. Uh, tell me about the display, I guess. What kind of display is it? I don't know what type it is. The numbers are made of little bars. There's uh, seven of them. Is that important? We don't have all day, operator. Well, I don't know what to do here. Uh, tell me about the power. I need to define what type of diffusal thing. I need to know what type of bomb it is. Okay. So, single mass devices are the simplest device. They don't have a particular fail safe and can be powered off easily. I bet we're not that lucky. Multi mass devices are simple in their conception, but how hard to diffuse. Unlike single mass devices, removing the power module will trigger auxiliary power routes. Autonomous ticking devices. Did she say anything about a ticking device? That's like an old fashioned, like one you'd see on TV, isn't it? Where you just hear all this uh, ticking. I didn't see anything there, though. Inverted clock. And a battery, is it? How many wires are there? Serial number. Is there a serial number on it? Can you find me a serial number? One for each digit, and an enter, and a confirm button. Twelve in total. This is not helping me. Got 15 minutes left and we haven't even started yet. We're going to blow that whole place up, aren't we? <laughs> uh, follow the procedures under the column. Dis if the bomb has a keyboard or display modules, type 000 and note the serial number is displayed. Can we do that? I want you to... Enter a code on the numpad. I have no idea if this is going to work. But we have a numpad. Zero, 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 zero. It says ABM 186511. Okay. Oh, we have a serial number. We have a serial number. Uh, serial numbers. Was that? Uh, ABM. Why are they just not listed nicely? The bomb has a keyboard. If the device has a physical label on the back module, procedures, disconnect. Procedures is down, down here. Where's the... Right, where's the list of serial numbers then? If the serial number is FF... No, 005, no, 18... Well, we've got a serial number at least, but I have no idea where the rest of our... Yo, we should have trained for this before coming in. What's this for? Notepads, that's just to make our own notes. I need help here. 
and there's no like help. But where's where's Hal when you need him? Do not cut the wire. It's a ah AB. Here we go AB. If the serial is ABM and the numbers, yes. The device's controller module is manufactured by ABM Industries. We've got eight minutes. The first step is to disconnect every module that requires ticking. For that, follow the procedures listed under the column Disable Procedure for Modules CF on Only. Where were we? I've oh, lost it on the page now. A stupid manual. In an emergency, this is not a good manual. So it's this one. CF 11.1. .1. There is no 11.1. .1. Oh, here we go. If the device's power module has a green wire, it's a multi-mass device. She said it has a green wire, I think. Such a device shall be diffused following the corresponding guide. If the device's power module voltage is less than 5 volts, it's more than 5 volts. If the device's explosive module is more than 5 volts, it's 9 volts. Else, the device requires a ticking dependent on voltage power compared to clock ticking type. This one. Oh, this is the most confusing thing in the world when you've only got like 10 minutes. Does it have a green wire? Did she say it had a green wire? Let's make sure. And we got the wires. There are a lot, but I'll try. The power module. It's a battery. Has two wires, a red and a black. So it's not two got a green wire. Two wires are connected to the explosive, a red and a black one. The display and the numpad have four wires each, a red, a black, a green, and a yellow. So that we need to go to this one, point four. This just takes us to here, inverted clock. But that's not our serial numbers. If the device has no serial number or a different pattern, First step is to just connect all the masses. Follow procedure this one, I think. Only follow the procedure. So it's not C4, I don't think. Module disconnect keypad. In order to disconnect the keypad module safely, you'll need to cut the yellow data wire. Okay, I think we're... Well, I don't know. We're just going to have to go for it. We've got five minutes. I want you to cut a wire. In the keypad, I think. Yellow data wire. Cut the yellow wire, if there is one. Are you sure, operator? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Oh, I God, it's going to blow right. up. I'm cutting the wire. Oh, it's done. But the bomb How is still did that ticking. not blow up? The bomb is still ticking. Okay, well, we can move on to the next one now. If the... What do we do now? Why does it keep going off for a different... Like, it goes off to a different bomb now. What's this? If the device is multi... Is that what we are? Else. First, the display needs to be powered off. No, I think we're else. I think that's a different bomb. Cut the yellow data wire. After that, no, that's... Is this us or are we here? I've done that. What now? If the device is multi-mass, please refer to 11.2. got no idea. This is so tricky to figure out in the time. This just takes us back to here. This manual is absolutely useless. 
The first step is to disconnect all the masses, which... So we've got one wire cut at least. But I, I have no idea how to get the next... I don't even know what the next thing to do would be. Make sure you disconnect the power. If we can disconnect the power, then the rest of it should be fine, right? If we can disconnect the power, we can finish the rest of it afterwards without the bomb ticking. So this is us. Disconnect every module. Once every module that requires ticking has been disconnected, follow the rest of it. So... Power. Oh, is this what we're doing? Hang on. Disconnect power by cutting the black minus wire. Any time to disconnect the power module will trigger. Disconnect the power module safely by cutting the black wire. That can't be. Is that is that us? I've really got no idea. Absolutely no idea. Power off the screen. How do I do that? Wait. I have no idea. I see it. A uh, little switch next to the screen. Okay, it switched off. What is it? Is it disabled? What now? Cut a wire. To the display, then? It needs to be powered off. Cut the yellow wire. I hope you're right. I have no idea. All right, it's cut. Well, I tell you what, for guesswork, that's not bad. So that's, is that the display taken care of? Power on the screen. That, after that, cut the red wire. Hang on, after that, cut the red wire. Quick, 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 quick. Cut a wire. For the display again, I guess? Red wire, cut the red wire. Here goes, operator. <sighs> it's done. Power on the screen. I'm pressing the switch. The screen is still off, but I guess that's normal. I guess so. I guess so. Now what do we do? Now what do we do? Why can't we just have it so that we're on our bit? So now he's going to find where we were. Ah, uh, we're going to run out of time. We're going to run out of time. I know we are. So should we do display? I don't think we've got time. We've got 20 seconds here. No, we've just done the display, haven't we? What's, what are we doing now? I don't know what to do next. Explosive? I don't know. Should we get rid of the explosive? Cut something. I don't know. Cut something. We're gonna, she's going to explode. I mean, yeah. I tried. I, I really did try. I'm sorry, you but... failed to identify the bomb's correct archetype, and now Agent Pendle is dead! Fire... Firefighters are on their way. And Agent Walker has safely evacuated with his arrest. He's transporting that SOB to the FDI. We'll question his ass first thing tomorrow. You better believe it. <sighs> now go home, Operator. I think you've done enough for today. I mean, well, this is my third day, pal. You should have done this if you knew better than me. 20 minutes to defuse a bomb. I didn't stand a chance. I don't understand half of what it's... It just goes from bomb to bomb. It's just put them in order. Whoever wrote this is a stupid person. This really should have just... Like, 
if this is your serial number, this is how you do this one, and this is how you do this one. Not go from here to here to here to here to here to here. Let's see if we can work it out without the time pressure. And then, I don't know, if I can do it again, or... Or she's gone now. Maybe she's dead, I don't know. Power off. I think that I think that's it. I think we just lost Agent Pendle. Claims claiming the life of an FDI agent on the premises. I'm here at the scene of Biomedica Technologies Laboratory where firefighters have been battling a blaze for hours. At this time, we still don't know. What Okay, well, I think that will uh, that will do this video then. So sadly, you don't you don't get to retry that either. So Agent Pendle has, uh, has succumbed to that bomb because uh, yeah, we don't we don't get a second shot at that. That was like a one a one hit deal. So I'm gonna try and look that up and see what we would see what I was doing wrong. See how I could have done that better. But to be honest with you, that's that was really hard. The way it's laid out, it'd be nice. It would have been better if you could just. Um, I don't know, highlight your particular ones you were looking for. It just always seemed to bleed into the next one. And when the time pressure was there, I think if I didn't have any time pressure, maybe I could have done better. But that's the way it is. Anyway, that is the end of this video. Make sure you leave it a like. If you uh, have enjoyed it, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll be back for another video very soon.